Next section we'll tackle uh, what we might do is finish the pumpkin. So we'll add some of this highlighting and some of these shadows down the bottom. So we'll uh, have a look at where the light comes from and we'll darken it off a little bit, soften off some of these edges and that will finish the pumpkin. After that we'll go on with the background and the font or the, the text. All right, let's finish the face or the pumpkin's face. As you can see with this one, it's almost got a vignette around it, whereas is very bright. So the easiest way to get a vignette is grab your initial pumpkin shape, make a copy of it by Control C, Control V. I'll bring it down here so you can see what I'm Now let's make a shape. Let's make one complete shape. So using the shape builder tool. Make sure the plus button is active in the actions and just trace over the top. Okay, so we have one complete shape. So one nice shape. What that's going to allow us to do is create some vignette and some masking. This bottom section down here, so for this, uh, the color for this, let's try and make it as close to the other one. Let's try and make it this color. And let's give it a gradient, and I think a radiant, a um, elliptical gradient will work for this one. So we want the dark sections to be on the outside. So if we reverse this, and then on the inner section, we probably want it opacity down to zero. So something like that. Now this is going to be trial and error to see what works and what doesn't. So you can see straight away we've got this dark edging. Now uh, hold the control key and the square bracket and just send it back a couple of times to get our eye elements in front. And you can see that's given it a nice vignette. Though we do have this glow. So we might have to remove our inner glow. Now the inner glow is on the second shape we created because we did duplicate the initial pumpkin, so we've retained that effect. So now that we've got rid of the inner glow, looking nice, we may need to tweak the gradient sun. So we don't want it too dark, but it'll be nice to highlight this face more. So I'm happy with that. So let's drag that off for a second because I'm going to put some more elements in this. We've got this lighter area through the center. So what we can do is we can click on our insertion tool, insert inside, drag out a circle, and I would make that white. And with the white selected, give it a Gaussian blur. What that's going to do, actually, we'll do it on top of this so it's over there. What we want to do, maybe we'll select the yellow color. We want to soften off this center section. So you see it's, it's a little bit lighter there. Maybe too big. So, about there, I reckon. So once again, Control X highlights your, sh your shape. Click your insertion tool and paste it in. Now, if that doesn't work, do what I do, Control Alt and then Control V. That is now pasted inside. So now when we drag our selection over, move back a couple. That's looking a little bit better. Now we still need a little bit more reflection down the bottom, and this is where you can start playing with, in your layers, start playing with your um, opacities and your overlays, because this is where, this is where it's going handy. And there's no particular rule to so it works and what doesn't. You may not need to. Screen, screen, and then normal. Nah, I think I'll leave it on all. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now we do have a little bit of banding here. What we can also do is give this a Gaussian blur. 
But remember, you're going to have this outline because you're the Gaussian blur is going to give it that outline there. So no, I'm going to go back to the way we were. I'm going to get rid of that blur because I would prefer to have a sharp edge. So I'm going to drag one out. Like that. And then I think I'm going to do a darker section down here. So for that, I can drag out a simple circle. Give it a dark color. This one I will blur. And I'm going to also right click on it. Convert it to curves because I want to give it a little bit of shape because I want it to come up and around the pumpkin. Now, if this is starting to get confusing, just drag your two shapes out so you can see what you're doing. What we want is this darker section inside of this section. So either use your insertion tool or I'll use my control alt and it'll paste it in and I'll drag that down. Make sure it overlaps. And when I drag back up now, make sure our eyes are in front. You can see I've now got that darker section down here now, maybe a little bit too dark. So we just need to tweak a few settings. Yeah, maybe something like that. Looking pretty good. I think you're safe to say, oh, you can see I've added a couple of extra things to the eyes. Feel free to or not to. And you might even want to add an extra shadow. Just to highlight some areas. I think that looks nice. So if I was going to do that, I would actually paste that into the shape section that we've got just so that if I want to expand that, it's not going to bleed out. So I think I'll leave it like that. Maybe turn the opacity down a little bit. It's a nice shape, nice shadowing happening. Once again, it's not exact, but you can see where we're going with this. So. Just play around until you feel comfortable with what you've done, there's no hard rules, whatever you think works. I think it's a bit too harsh, personally. So I'm just going to crease it up that little bit. And the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a few highlights within this section. So I'm going to copy that one there. I'm going to give it some orange. Extend it down. Drag them to the corners, and I'm probably going to drag it up a little bit more and change the shape. I'll convert that to a curve so I can actually change the shape the way I want it. And what do we need? Well, let's turn the opacity up. Yeah, something like that. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Just, oops, just to give it a bit of a highlight. There we go. I think we're done with the face. We could play around until the cows came home, but maybe, maybe something like that. Group them all together. Now well, we've got one complete shape and I'm up. Pumpkin head. Now oh, that's the hard part done. And as you can see, it's a little bit different. The shading's a little bit, little bit different color. But have fun with it. Anyway, next, next part we'll work on this nice hat. <laughs>